the story we've been following since late this afternoon. Not guilty, acquitted and free to go. A jury at 3 o'clock this afternoon clearing the fired LMPD detective Brett Hankison of the three wanton endangerment charges he was facing. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Hankison was the only officer of the seven involved in the Breonna Taylor raid facing any kind of charges in connection with that night. Team coverage right now on the verdict, and we have reaction to it. We want to start with Grace McKenna, who covered the trial from day number one. Grace? Yeah, Doug, the jury took just about three hours today to deliberate, discussing the evidence they heard over the course of this trial and the closing arguments today that ultimately led them to acquit Brett Hankison. We, the jury, find the defendant, Brett Hankison, not guilty of wanton endangerment, first degree. Brett Hankison acquitted on three charges of wanton endangerment. Justice was done. The verdict was proper. And we're, we're thrilled. Hank is charged for shots fired into a neighboring apartment the night police served a warrant on Brianna Taylor's home. We respect this jury's verdict. When officers breached the door, Hankison said he saw a figure with a rifle turned back and saw muzzle flashes through a sliding glass door. In closing arguments, prosecutors argued he couldn't see a target when he fired. Is shooting wildly through this sliding door put his own fellow officers at risk. The defense's central argument, no one can say what Hankison saw for sure, and he was acting to help others. He chose in that split second to go for, do what he perceived needed to be done, and that was to save his brother officers. Immediately after his defense won out, attorney Stu Matthews penning it on Hankison's emotional testimony. I would say absolutely. I mean, we from day one, he's been going to take the stand. A lot of lawyers don't think clients should take the stand. I believe they absolutely should. Doug, coming out of the courtroom, the prosecution kept things brief, but attorney Stu Matthews said he felt the jury served justice by letting Brett Hankison go free. Live in Louisville, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11 on your side.